So this is a hard question. Uh, we're given this uh, quadratic function. And uh, the first piece of information is that a is negative. That means this is a downward opening parabola. That's important. And the second thing is that the x-coordinate of the vertex is minus 1. That means if I were to qualitatively draw this out, it would have a maxima here at minus 1, corresponds to, and it would look something like that. We don't know the y-coordinate. We don't need to. And this point here is when x is 0. So that point is the uh, y-intercept, or f of 0. And what we're given is that t is a point such that f of t is greater than f of 0. And f of 0 is the y-intercept. So that means what values of t that fall on the function satisfies this? Well, it's above all of this, meaning all of these points here. That means t has to be in that region, above that. Now, since this is a parabola is symmetric about the uh, the axis of symmetry, we go one unit to the right to get to the y-intercept, because minus 1 here, and we would go another one unit, which means this point here, the x-coordinate would be minus 2. And, and the y-coordinate would be the same as the y-intercept, because the parabola is symmetric, which means that t, for this condition to hold true, as long as t is between those two values, between minus 2 and 0, uh, this condition would be satisfied. So that is indeed true. And if you look at the answer choices, uh, the options, I should say, the Roman numeral, that's the first one. Look at second, the condition is f of t is less than f of minus 2. Is that true? Uh, no, in fact, it's the other way. f of t is greater than f of minus 2, because f of minus 2 is the value of the function here. So 2 is out. 3 is f of t is greater than f of 